the claim that uh, pro-Palestinian protesters are funded by terror groups is hilarious. It's an obvious tactic used by uh, Israeli defenders or uh, the that type of tactic is used by anyone to try to discredit a group of people protesting for something. All you got to do is claim that they're funded by a terrorist organi organization or a government that the United States or uh, uh, another government that, you know, your government doesn't like, and boom, automatically those people are bad. That's why uh, anytime people protest uh, against the Israeli government for murdering innocent Palestinians, that's why everybody uh, in support of the Israeli government claims that they support Hamas to make it seem like these people support a terrorist group. Uh, that is not the case whatsoever. You can be against both Hamas for their atrocities and the Israeli government for their genocide. Um, it is funny, though, how uh, the Israeli settlers in the West Bank aren't labeled terrorists when they go out and murder innocent Palestinians. Uh, the West Bank is controlled by the Palestinian Authority, not by Hamas. So if you try to claim that, oh, uh, these people are just defending themselves against uh, Hamas agents, that's just people trying to justify Israeli settlers murder murdering innocent Palestinians. Like the American Palestinian that was murdered by an Israeli settlers and Biden put sanctions on four of them. Protesters flying the Palestinian flag have taken over bridges, flooded city streets, free, free, free Palestine. and even delayed Oscar arrivals in Hollywood. All in the name of the pro-Palestinian movement, growing since the October 7th Hamas attacks on Israel and the swift military response. But some pro-Israel organizations raising concerns, questioning if protest groups could be linked to or financially supported by terrorist organizations. The foundation... It says the government that uh, funds and supports Israeli settlers in the West Bank. The Israeli settlers are legal elements, so uh, the Israeli settlers killing people is uh, terrorism. For Defense of Democracies, a Washington think tank focused on national security, testifying on Capitol Hill. This country has seen an alarming number of rallies, both in major cities and on college campuses, expressing support for the terrorist organization. The Anti-Defamation League, which... Tra but saying you want a ceasefire and and not see, you know, innocent Palestinians die by the Israeli government isn't supporting a terrorist organization, it's supporting innocent people. But if you want to make people seem bad, all you got to do is cl claim that they support terrorism. Uh, innocent babies aren't terrorists. Tracks protest groups says one of them named within our lifetime has welcomed support from Samadun, a Canadian registered nonprofit banned in Germany and Israel for its alleged support of Hamas and has promoted messaging from the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine or PFLP, a designated foreign terrorist organization by the U.S. State Department. They promote the... I mean, honestly, the, the labels of terrorist group it kind of means nothing at this point when, you know, states constantly fund terrorist groups all the time. Uh, they're funding a genocide by the Israeli government, and the Israeli government funds terrorists in the West Bank. So, I mean, why is one group labeled a terrorist group, but not the other group? Why aren't Israeli settlers considered terrorists? Language of terrorist organizations like the PFLP on their on their social media. Uh, and they talk about resistance by any means necessary, which legitimizes the violence that we've seen, especially after uh, you know the October 7th massacre. Within our lifetimes. Okay, but what about like, you know, uh, innocent Palestinians that are being killed? Don't they have the right to resist being killed by the Israeli government? What 
Palestinians in the West Bank? Don't they have the right to self-defense against Israeli settlers when the uh, settlements in the uh, settlers are breaking international law? It doesn't seem right or fair that one group of people get the right to self-defense, but the other group just has to allow themselves to be murdered? How, is, how does that make any sense? Founder Nardine Kiswani says the group doesn't receive any overseas funding. There's no sources, no proof of this anywhere. Samadun has not responded to NBC News requests for comment. An investigation by NBC News reviewed dozens of government and court records, tax filings and social media posts of several key groups behind the demonstrations, including within our lifetime, and found no clear evidence financially linking Hamas or PFLP to U.S.-based pro-Palestinian groups. Besides the red... What's funny, though, is Bibi Netanyahu is known for helping Hamas get funds. So why is Netanyahu not labeled a terrorist supporter for helping a terrorist group get funds? Do you know if there is any evidence of material support? No, I mean, historically over the years, this has been a question. But I'm not aware of anything that has come up now. But I think that scrutiny is getting, you know, deeper, uh, certainly in a post-October 7th world. Grassroots organizers like Kiswani formed within our lifetime nearly a decade ago and says... You can't hide! Her childhood as a Palestinian American was shaped by a post-9-11 New York when Muslim Americans were being persecuted. I knew that there was this, this uh, sense of, of hatred. Oh yeah, after 9-11, the racism towards Muslims skyrocketed. Everybody wants to claim that uh, Americans came together after 9-11. Like, no, there was an extreme amount of violence against uh, Muslims and anybody who looked Muslim or supported uh, Muslims. ...and racism towards our community that was unfounded. That allowed me to, to help empower my community um, to fight back against um, these claims. Have you looked at the website where they they track you? Yeah. I what have. do you think when you see that? Um, I just think it's ridiculous. I think that they rely on a lot of Islamophobic, anti-Arab racist tropes to sort of... Oh yeah, that is that is why there is a lot of hatred towards anybody that uh, protests in support of the Palestinians. There is a lot of uh, uh, racism towards Muslims and Arabs. Uh, that's why, you know, there is a lot of people that defend the Israeli government that claims that all Palestinians and all Arabs are like evil people. All Muslims are evil and they want nothing but, you know, the murder of the uh, Jewish uh, people, which is a bold face lie. Uh, it's in all groups of people. You're going to have extremists in your religions. I mean, look at the Israeli government and their and the right-wing Israelis. They're pretty extreme. Uh, if you uh, speak out against the Israeli government in any way, you're labeled a traitor, you can be sent to jail and tortured by the IDF. Build their narratives. But critics worry that words have the potential to encourage violence. At what point does this rhetoric that dehumanizes people, at what point might that lead to some direct action? Kiswani says the protest movement is peaceful, but it will not be silenced. Ultimately, the only people doing the dehumanization here is the Israeli government. You've had uh, ministers call Palestinians terrorists. There are no innocent uh, uh, Palestinians in Gaza. You have Bibi Netanyahu calling for the genocide of Palestinians. You have uh, ministers saying that, you know, they should just nuke all of Gaza and make it a Weasley because no one in Gaza is innocent. Our message is uh, Palestine deserves to be free, just like every other country, that Palestinians deserve to live in dignity. Yeah, why, why is it that the uh, Israelis get to have their own nation, but Palestinians don't get to have their own nation? It makes no sense whatsoever to try to claim that one group of people gets to have rights while another group of people don't.
Valerie is joining us now. So, Valerie, talk about the political context and backdrop to this as well ahead of the, the elections come November. Well, so, Hallie, first, I just want to give a shout out to the incredible journalists at the NBC News investigative team. They are the ones that put in the long hours, the hard work of looking into the background of these groups. So we couldn't have done this story without them. Um, but getting back to your question about the political implications, look, these groups are not just protesting against Israel. Some of them are also protesting against the Biden administration. We have seen that play out, for example, in Michigan during the primaries. There was the uncommitted campaign. They were asking voters to not vote. And this is the reason why Biden is uh, pretending to be uh, in support of a ceasefire. He wants to send aid to Palestinians in Gaza because he's, he, uh, he knows he's losing approval amongst people for his support of the genocide of the Palestinians in Gaza by the Israeli government. And he's looking to get some votes back. But it's not going to work. You can't uh, fund and arm the Israeli government and defend them against, you know, the UN, the ICJ and stuff like that. And then help uh, the people that the group is, uh, you know, murdering and act like, you know, you're solving the crisis going on for President Biden, but instead to vote uncommitted. But look, come November, if President Biden is not elected, there is the possibility that former President Trump could be back in office. And remember, he had the Muslim ban when he was in office. These groups say that doesn't mean... Right. And Biden has uh, passed immigration laws denying asylum seekers entry into the United States unless they seek uh, asylum in the nations that they travel through. Uh, and that was a policy that uh, Stephen Miller uh, put through and wanted, and Biden was against that during the Trump administration. But now he's wanting to do everything that the right-wingers want to do uh, against uh, people coming into the United States, various immigration laws, so that he can, you know, get right-wing support. Uh, let's not pretend that, like, Biden is better than Trump, because Biden isn't better than Trump. He's funding a genocide. Uh, yeah, Trump bad, but also Biden bad. I mean that they are voting for Trump or giving him a chance. They say they will just vote. They will protest whoever is currently in the White House at that time. Thanks. Yeah, just because you don't support Biden doesn't mean you support Trump. You can be against both. And like fear monger Trump being president doesn't make uh, Biden and his support of 